starting with Zero Bounce. Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Brian Minnick. I'm the Chief Operating Officer at Zero Bounce, and I'm here to walk you through today how to set up your account on our platform and how to validate your first file and retrieve your results and analyze them and look at them. To start, you'll want to navigate to our website, zerobounce.net, and you'll be presented with our homepage, and you'll see a nice button up at the top right saying sign up for free. All of our accounts are free. You do not need to enter a credit card in order to have an account with Zero Bounce. Uh, you will, however, need to purchase credits if you would like to validate a large list or a list of more than 100 validations. We do provide 100 validations per month for free, and these are full validations. You're getting all of the results back as if you had a paid account. There is no difference. Uh, and so we do welcome everybody to give our service a try. And to do that, you would go to the sign up button. When here, you're able to go ahead and sign up using either Google, LinkedIn, Facebook, or Apple. Or if you'd like, you can also use your domain. So I'd click the sign up button, enter all of my information, and go ahead and hit sign up. When I do that, and also I check this box, which will allow you to get all the latest news from Zero Bounce. When I sign up, I'm going to go ahead and get an email address, or sorry, an email confirmation sent to my email address that I registered with. I've already pre-started that to speed the process up. And in here, I will take a code that's provided to me. And all we're doing here is verifying that you have ownership of this email address. So I'll go ahead and enter my code. And as I do that, I'm immediately responded with a ability to set up Google Authenticator for two-factor authentication. This is not required. Uh, however, it will add an additional layer of security to your account if you wish. And for sake of demo, I'm going to go ahead and set up this later. This can be set up at any time in the account. So when I go ahead and set up later, what I'm going to continue to be presented with is my dashboard. And immediately I'm going to see and get quick access to upload a file, do a real-time single email validation, or provide and look at any of the other tools that are available at my disposal. A quick overview of our dashboard, and I'll kind of start left to, left to right, up and down, is we will have a header here. This is going to be consistent throughout our entire platform. It's going to show you how many credits that you have available to use right away going to give you an idea of what those credits can be used for. If you need to buy more credits, you're able to do that here. And then also you're going to have a bunch of different account options that you're able to use and choose from. We have other videos showing all those and details of everything from all of the different pages here, as well as all the account options. For the sake of demo here, I'm going to just quickly show you how you can do an upload on your list and retrieve those results and interpret them. So I have gone ahead and created a test file. This test file is very basic, very light. I'm just showing so you get an idea of how our platform works. We accept CSV, TXT, or XLS, or SLXX files that are able to be sent into our platform, as well as supporting some other um, services that, that support hosting of files. So I just want to give you a peek at my CSV file. It is a two-column, five-row file which has the email address in the first column, and I just put a location here in the second column. You can have any data that you would like on that file, by the way. There's no limitation towards how many columns, um, but all we really need to process is the email address. If you have additional data points, we're able to help and, and also provide some data depends if possible, but all we require for a validation is the email address. So I can click validate here. You also see our third party and, and official integrations. I'm going to go ahead and skip that for now so we have other videos on them. And I'm going to upload my files. You can also do this through Google Drive, OneDrive, or Dropbox. So when I come here, I'm going to go to my desktop. And I have my demo file here that I've already showed you. So we'll hit click Open. And immediately, I'm going to get presented with you know select the columns that are on my file. And so uh, because I have email here, it's already pre-selecting this. And what the options that we have. Our email address, which obviously we need that, and we need all of your emails to be in one column to be clear. That's the only way we'll be able to validate. We cannot validate through multiple columns. We need the email address to be highlighted, so you would select that here. If you want to provide us the first name, you can select that as well as the last name as different columns. If you have gender on your file, you're able to select that as well, and IP address. We will do a best job of trying to look up the location of that IP address and append that data to your file as well. Anything else that's on your file, you would just label as custom, and we would already probably pre-select that for you. 
But custom is also just another way for you to think about that we're going to ignore the data on this column because it has no relevance to what we need, but it might have relevance for what you want when you move this file else elsewhere. So once I go ahead and select it, um, I'll go down to the second part here, which is does your first row contain labels? That answer is yes. I have location and I have email, so I have headers. So that's yes. If you did not have that and your first row is an email, go ahead and hit no. And then do you want us to remove the duplicate emails? Um, by default, we're going to do that. If you don't want that, go ahead and hit no. So I'm going to move on. Next step. I have four emails to validate. I'm going to go ahead and click validate. As you can see, it deducted four credits from my account. And so one credit equals one validation. That is how it works. Um, we've actually just uploaded and I've already processed this. That was in real time. So very small list will get processed incredibly quick um, for sake of understanding how long another file might take. Usually 100,000 validations would take us between 30 to 45 minutes to complete the validation for you. And when you get done, what you'll see here is your list is now presented here. Um, my list, which is again, very lightweight and very simple for, for demonstration purposes has a invalid email and some valid ones and also an abuser. And so I can expand the results and I can quickly see in my dashboard, the, the high level summary, um, we have activity data and we have some other things, but I'm going to go ahead and download this file, which what it's going to do is produce a zip file. And I'm also able to select any columns that I would like to do data pens on. For the sake of the demonstration, I'm going to keep everything on and I'm also going to include activity data so you can get an idea of what that looks like on your CSV file as well. For those who are interested, the activity data is a piece of, of additional data, which is optional and you do not need to uh, use it if you do not wish. But what we're doing is for any match that we can find on your list that you uploaded, we're going to provide you back activity data, which is going to show you the amount of uh, the last time that we have seen activity on that email address in days from 30, 60, 90, 180, or 365 days. And that is the last time that we have known activity on that email address. And that is built and brought to us by different sending and signal partners that we work with. Now, just to be clear, just because something is 60 days old does not mean it has no activity in between 60 days. It just means that's the last that we have known activity on. So I'm gonna go ahead and download my file. This would consume one more credit for the activity data. Again, optional, but for sake of demo, I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you guys. So I'm going to download it and I'm going to be uh, immediately presented with a zip file. I'm gonna put it on my desktop. And let's open it up. So here's my demo, here's my zip file. Inside of my zip file, I'm going to get a file for each one of the major categories and, su and statuses that we provide. And that's because we've heard lots of feedback from our customers that they might want to just take the valid file and move it somewhere. So this doesn't require you to do anything in Excel or anything of that nature. You could just grab your valid file and move it to wherever you would like. Uh, however, lots of customers want the all results file or the, you know, uh, this is everything in, back into one file. And so we'll provide that to you as well. We'll also give you a file of just the activity data and each one of these categories respectively, as well as a overview PDF of what we are able to find on your files and a overview of the statuses, top domains, and if we are able to find any data pens or use activity data. So we'll provide a nice uh, PDF for each one of those. If I go ahead and just open up the all results, what you'll see here is, you know, this was my original file. And now I have my validated file from zero bounce. We're getting a bunch of different, um, originally we had two columns. And so now on each one of them, we are putting a status, a substatus, the account, the domain, the first name, last name, and gender, if we can find it. Again, I really use some uh, dummy data here, really just to keep a demo nice and clean and short and sweet. But if we find stuff, we will provide it back to you. We will also let you know if this is a free email account or not. We'll also let you know if we have found MX records as well as activity data, we'll put that here. And so we're gonna output all of these additional columns, which again, you are welcome to turn off in those toggles when you retrieve your results. But if not, you're able to just go ahead and uh, retrieve them here. So that would be the process of uploading and downloading data from our platform after performing a successful validation.
Moving back to the platform, there's lots of different options that we have in here, and I'm going to just quickly touch on them so you have a good understanding and a quick walkthrough of our platform. And all of these options, we also can get you in touch with an account manager, and we have a 24-7, 365 day per year. We are always available. These are our real team, our real people, and our staff through live chat and our email system at support at zerobounce.net. You can always contact us. We will help you. We can also do anything and, and try to guide you and things of that nature as well. So any questions, our live support is great. And we're happy to help. Now, I did mention that in order to prove to do validations, you need credits. I want to talk about credits real quick and also show you how you can buy more if you wish. Your credit balance will always be up here in the top right hand corner. And one email validation is one credit. So a successful email validation will, will consume one credit. If you want activity data, we cannot determine that until after we've validated your file because we don't know how much we have matched. We only would deduct a credit if you opt into the activity data and we have found results for that specific email. If we did not find anything, we would not include the activity data for it and we would not uh, attempt to consume a credit in your behalf. To buy credits, you can go to this section here or you can go to the pricing and plans. I'll go to buy credits. We have two different options on how you can use and, and purchase from our platform. Um, one of them is a monthly subscription. And in here, you'll be able to select however many credits you would like per month. And you will go ahead and you can check out. This is a uh, generally about a 15% discount over a one-time payment, which we call pay as you go. And so you're welcome to pick any package that makes sense for you. And what will happen is each, each time this hits in the month, so if I signed up today, the 23rd of the month, on the next month at the 23rd, I would go ahead and receive another 25,000 credits and my credit card would be billed $150. So it is a monthly subscription. We're gonna provide these credits to you each month and um, your credits do roll over and they do not expire. So if you use a little bit less, you don't have to worry. You didn't waste your money. They're still there and you can use them at any time. You can also cancel a subscription at any time. Um, there's no long-term commitment. You are just paying for the credits and it's automating a monthly process for you. <clears throat> That's the monthly plans. We also have pay as you go plans and we look at these as one-time purchases. So I just have one list of 25,000 email addresses or 100,000 email addresses and I just wanna validate that and purchase it. You can go ahead and do that. Through one-time purchases, you can use credit card or PayPal. Uh, and through the monthly subscriptions, it, it is only through uh, credit card. You can also enter a custom amount. So if you're purchasing one-time payments, maybe I have a list of 142,853 emails on it. I can purchase that exact amount. Here's my price. And I can go ahead and check out. And once I check out, my credit balance will be reflected. Um, we also have an auto pay option. For people who would like this, this is a usage-based uh, replenishment. This is not time-based. So it's a little similar to subscriptions other than the time-based part. This is basically allowing you to set up a threshold that once you break that threshold, uh, we will go ahead and repurchase more credits based on all the configurations that you've done. So you can set that up immediately, or you can always set that up later in your dashboard, and I'll show you what that looks like. So if I do wanna set up auto pay, I can go ahead here. I can say what you're, you're basically adding two parameters here, which is how many credits I want to buy. And I want to buy them once my threshold has been breached. So if I say once I've gotten to 50 credits or less, I want to buy 5,000 credits, I would hit save and activate the plan. And then anytime my balance drops below 50 credits, I'm going to automatically buy 5,000 more. And again, this is usage-based. This has nothing to do with time. This could take you one year. This could take you one hour. <clears throat> we have lots of different customers that use our product in lots of different ways. And this is uh, one way that we have found, especially for API users that maybe don't have predictable amounts of usage. Maybe there's peaks, there's valleys. You're busier on certain times of the year. This is an amazing option for you because it's not time-based. So that's how auto pay would work. Once you get through the package and you go ahead and pick the purchase that you would like and pick the subscription or the monthly package, you can go ahead and subscribe. If you're looking for larger packages or you're an enterprise type client where you might require 
uh, you know, more than a million validations or, you know, you know, a few million, there is nobody too big for a zero bounce and there is nobody too small. If you have a hundred emails a month, no problem. That's free. We are going to give you a hundred credits each month and that will replenish on the first of the month. And that will give you a hundred credits and a hundred validations every month for free. No questions asked. If you need more, obviously you would make your purchases. If you have, um, or you're a larger brand and you would like some kind of handholding and you would like some discussions, a demonstration, our team is happy to help you and work through that with you. We're very comfortable and have always been able to work through any legal documentation if they are required, security reviews, NDAs, DPAs, all of that. We're very used to it. Uh, we're serving, servicing over 200,000 clients across the entire world. So I promise you, we have seen all of the combinations and we know how to handle them. We have a, a DPO on staff, as well as we are GDPR compliant, SOC 2 Type 2 compliant, ISO 27001 compliant, CCPA compliant. And we are also uh, PDP ready for our India customers using our ZeroBounce.in platform, where all of the data will be hosted and stored only in India for that platform. Our .NET platform is GDPR compliant. All of that data is stored and processed within the EU. And that is how we remain compliant there as well. So if there's any questions, you are always welcome to reach out to our team. Our chat support is here on the bottom. You can use them for anything that you might need, as well as we have a phone number where you can call. You can find that on our website. And based on that, you can get in touch right with our account managers. We're happy to help you. We can set up demos. We can walk you through the platform and we can help you pick a custom package that is exactly what you need uh, so that your business is fit based on how you need to operate and how you need the verifications done. So whether it's a large purchase for the year, a monthly purchase, because that's what works for you, or you only want to be time-based or usage-based, that is perfectly fine. We're very flexible and we would love to work with you. So I want to thank you all for joining today and thank you for checking out Zero Bounce. We're really excited to have you on the platform. And if there's any questions, please go ahead and reach out to our support team as well as check out some of the other videos that we've created to help walk you through every section of our platform and get you more familiar with it.